The wait is almost over. The 23rd Winter Olympics will officially kick off its three week run in Pyeongchang, with the opening ceremony set to start in 10 hours from now. That's 8 p.m. Korea time, 6 a.m. Eastern time in the U.S., and noon in London. It's the second time the Olympic cauldron will be lit in South Korea and the first time in 30 years for the country to host the global sporting event since the 1988 Seoul Olympics. They were the Summer Olympics. For more, let's connect to our Iji Won, who's standing by at the Pyeongchang Olympic Plaza for us. So, Ji Won, tell us what we can expect from tonight's opening ceremony. Mark, under the theme Peace in Motion, the uh, two-hour ceremony will see all 92 participating nations walk into the stadium with their national flags held high. Now, that's not to mention the flurry of performances uh, that will showcase the rich culture and history of South Korea. It's also going to be a historic day for Korea in another way, as the two Koreas will be marching in together under the unification flag with two torchbearers, one from each side. Gold medal hopeful bobsledder Won Yun Jong will represent the South, but the bearer for the North has not yet been announced. We will also see a large VIP audience, including President Moon Jae-in, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, as well as the North Korean delegation, including Kim Jong-un's sister Kim Yo-jong. And last but not the least, we will see the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympic cauldron lit with the Olympic torch that's been carried around the country for 101 days now, marking the start of the Winter Games. Now, Jiwon, one thing that's been a real concern is the weather because it has been extremely cold even for uh, Korean winter uh, standards. How is the weather looking today there and, more importantly, tonight for the opening ceremony? Mark, it's expected to be mostly cloudy during the opening ceremony. And while the Korea Meteorological Administration forecasts the temperature to be on par with or even above the seasonal average, uh, the uh, ranging from uh, ranging between minus two to minus five degrees Celsius, the wind chill factor will make the real field temperature more like minus 10 degrees. And that's pretty cold if you're going to sit still for hours on end. The organizing committee has prepared a winter gear pack consisting of blankets, raincoats and more for the spectators. But those of you who will be coming to watch the ceremony will need to bundle up, wear plenty of layers and certainly bring a hat, scarf and gloves. Uh, that's all from me for now, but I'll be back with more later. Back to you, Mark.